the future of journalism is in very good hands. And when I hear people say that, what do you mean you're teaching journalism? It, it's not going to exist in five years. My answer is you are getting more information today than you've ever received before. And you are having to determine truth, falsehood, maybe true, maybe not true. Is this worth reading? Is this not worth reading? I feel like I am training good curators. They are gonna curate this information for you and they're gonna look at it ahead of time to figure out how important this is for you. My name is Joanne Lasoski, and I'm a professor of communication here at Pacific Lutheran University. In addition to teaching here at PLU, I've also served two Fulbrights, one in Baku, Azerbaijan, and I taught journalism also in Kampala, Uganda. Right now, I'm greeting you uh, from uh, Baku, where I met my professor from the United States, Joan Lisowski. Joan helped me learn that uh, I'm a journalist rather than a fighter, and uh, it's my obligation to deliver objective, fair, and unbiased stories. Students come to me with an idea of how, not really sure how, but they know they want to make a difference. And I just get to observe that and just be a small part of it. One thing that Joanne is always serves as is an encouragement to me and to all of her um, advisees and people she mentors. Um, I know that whenever I read a letter of recommendation from her, I feel so much better about myself and my options and future. And I know that whenever I visit her, I'm always feel like feel leave feeling like I can take over the world, like I can do anything. She taught me to appreciate the value of each story, and she told me that the worst thing one can say to you is no. You know, the worst thing you can do is, you know, they say no, and you move on with your projects, and yeah. <laughs> when we were in college, Joanne used to say. Don't ask for permission, just beg for forgiveness if you need to. She'd drill it the into us in class. The advice I remember most from Joanne is, you can do anything you set your mind to. On and being people, eager, yeah. being curious, showing a willingness to learn, and those are skills that I could take with me anywhere. One piece of advice from Joanne that still sticks with me is to always challenge myself and to not be afraid to fail. Another thing that she said to me, um, she told me that it was her job as her mentor to break down barriers, not to hold me back. I hope everybody who thinks of me says, boy, she was tough but fair, and she really cared about whether I learned something or not.